What you're looking at are triplets who appear to see something unseen to the naked eye. Whatever it is they saw, they don't seem scared or intimidated by it. The camera in the room that was monitoring the children didn't show anything as well. Is this an actual spirit the children are seeing, or is this the product of an overactive imagination? What types of entities exist outside of our normal visual spectrum, and is it possible that special goggles can help you see these entities? Get your dice signing glasses here. See other people's auras. Look into other dimensions. See entities not visible to the naked eye. I see a ghost. It already sounds fantastical. I wonder if they also sell snake oil or a deed to the Brooklyn Bridge. Maybe I can buy them bundled. As unreal as it sounds, Dyson and dye glasses were invented almost a hundred years ago. In 1908, medical electrician Dr. Walter Kilner invented Kilner screens, which were glass plates containing Dyson and dye solution that he believed would allow him to see the human aura, which is an energy field that surrounds the body. This invention eventually turned into a device called Dyson and Goggles, with the reported purpose of allowing users to see that exact thing, the human energy field. In 1911, Dr. Kilner published one of the first Western medical studies of the human atmosphere, or aura, proposing its existence, nature, and possible use in medical diagnosis and prognosis. Kilner stood firm in his conviction that the human energy field is an indicator of health and mood. According to Dr. Kilner in the early 1900s, hardly one person in 10,000 is aware that he or she is surrounded by a haze intimately connected with the body, whether asleep or awake, whether hot or cold, which although invisible under ordinary circumstances, can be seen when conditions are favorable. Today, many spiritualists are able to see their aura and the aura of others. Kilner goggles, armed with vibrantly colored dyes like dyscyanin, promised a different kind of sight. These early 20th century devices, part spectacle and part science experiment, aimed to train eyes to perceive auras, those elusive energy fields swirling around the human body. Through colored glass and controlled lighting, Kilner claimed that we could all become aura whisperers, eventually ditching the goggles and seeing those wispy energies with our naked eyes. While the science remains murky, Kilner's goggles offer a glimpse into a time when humans yearned to unlock the hidden dimensions of sight, even if only in the realm of belief. According to his study, Kilner and his associates were able, on many occasions, to perceive auric formations, which he called the etheric double, the inner aura and the outer aura extending several inches from the patient's naked bodies. And his book gave instructions by which the reader might construct and use similar goggles. Honestly, no goggles are needed. Just hold your hand in front of you, in front of a white wall or a light colored wall, and relax your eyes. The first thing you're gonna see is a translucent energy emanating from your body, maybe about half an inch from your body. If you can hold that translucent image, it'll expand to show you your inner aura. The outer aura is a little trickier because once you see it for the first time, chances are it'll go away quickly because you get so excited and you couldn't, you couldn't maintain that, that relaxed gaze. But with a little practice, you should be able to see all three auras in very little time. So what is the human aura? The aura is a vibrant energy that encompasses the human body mirroring the Earth's atmosphere that surrounds it. The distinctive energy field is an acknowledged phenomenon. Although many individuals encounter their aura in daily lives, 
This awareness might not always be deliberate. The aura's existence can be sensed through warmth, vitality, enthusiasm, tension, and unease depending on the emotional or physical state of the individual in question. Dr. Kilner developed a training method so that any person could train themselves to see the aura. This involved looking through the Kilner screens. While these are claimed to be very successful, the problem was that dicyanin was both expensive and potentially toxic. Although actual Kilner screens or lenses have fallen out of favor, the use of them is sometimes simulated using glass or plastic lenses that are deep cobalt blue or purple. Once you're able to see the aura using this device, you were supposed to decrease your use of them as you should be able to see the aura without them. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our N5D YouTube channel for more videos like this. So let's talk about the Kilner screen and Kirlian photography. A definition of the Kilner screen is provided by the American Psychological Association's Dictionary of Psychology. The Kilner screen is a special viewing apparatus that allegedly reveals the invisible auras emitted by human beings. It is essentially a light filter, originally consisting of two pieces of glass separated by a layer of dicyanin A, a blue dye used in photographic emulsions. More recently, manufactured Kilner screens are usually made with less toxic chemicals. Adherents claim that the inspection of human auras through such a screen can play a vital role in the early diagnosis of disease. Additionally, according to the Free Dictionary, the Kilner screen was a device invented by Dr. W. J. Kilner of St. Thomas Hospital in London, which consists of two plates of glass separated by one eighth of an inch and filled with dye. An individual stands adjacent to the screen and his or her aura can allegedly be analyzed. Curlian photography was invented somewhere around the 1930s, long after Dr. Kilner invented his Kilner screens. Kilner screens showed up to the aura party in the late 1800s. Curlian photography, on the other hand, didn't strut its stuff until the mid 20th century around the 1930s. Kilner was dabbling with auras way before Curlian decided to snap some flashy but impressive pictures. Specifically, the Kilner screens were layers of glass that, according to Kilner, could enhance the visibility of energy fields or auras. Did it actually work? Who knows? But like many people who appreciate a good legend or myth, Kilner was out there breaking boundaries and claiming to see things others couldn't. So how can you see invisible entities with the Kilner screen or Dyson and goggles? It is believed that by looking through the Kilner goggles, you could sensitize your eyes, allowing you to see into the astral plane. This was later extrapolated to mean that one could see interdimensional entities or beings that cannot be detected by the human eye. None of this is true and Kilner never once mentioned anything about seeing entities outside of our normal field of vision with the Kilner screen or Dyson and goggles. Yet, if you go to Etsy, you'll find people selling products like this and making outrageous anonymous claims like, I can even see ghosts with them. So here we are on the Etsy website and Jeepers, there's only one left at $105.11. Aura goggles, auras, crystal, gemstones, healing, reading, psychic, tarot, angel cards, Dicinian, haunted, occult, Wiccan, holy Reiki Batman, chakras, meditation. Let's check out the materials here. The materials, which you would think would be Dysonian or you know maybe what the goggles are made from ghost hunting that's a material huh and ghost hunting equipment ghost hunting tools alternative therapy haunted doll haunted doll what the meditation chakras Walter Kilner dowsing rods paranormal Dysonian die style 
kind of like Gundam style. Dysinian style aura goggles. Ghost detector. Oh gosh, let's scroll through here. Oh, they got pictures. Let's see what this proves. Absolutely nothing. There's a picture of the goggles. Oh, here's, here's a picture. That proves nothing. More pictures of the glasses, and that's it. You can even find these Dyson in glasses or goggles on Amazon. And if you go to the one-star ratings, you'll get an idea of what people actually think about that. So here's the first one. Doesn't work. Didn't seem to do anything but make everything look dark. Can't see my aura. This didn't work for me. Aside from adding a blue tint, they haven't helped me. I'm a spiritualist and I tested this product out. I was looking for a banned chemical compound that allows you to see into the fourth dimension called dicyanin. This claim to be similar, it doesn't work at all. Trust me, I'm awake, do not buy this one. And you can see it goes on and on. Scam, lots of negative comments. But overall, it seems to be quite a scam, so I would avoid buying any Dysonian style goggles. While other people are playing on the alleged scarcity of Dysonian and dye, saying that it's illegal here in the United States, this is absolutely not true. Although it may be illegal to scam people with fraudulent products. Here's an article saying that dyscyanin and dye is illegal because it is said to have special properties when placed between two glass planes. The resulting effect gives anyone the ability to look into the astral realm along with seeing a person's emanating aura, essentially proving that another plane of reality exists. And that is absolutely not true regarding the other plane of reality. Critical acclaim to Dr. Kilner's work can be found in the British Medical Journal, BMJ, who reviewed Kilner's research and stated that although Kilner contended the aura is a purely physical phenomenon, evidence does not support this view. Scientists from the BMJ attempted to replicate Kilner's experiments, but the results were negative. The review concluded that Dr. Kilner has failed to convince us that his aura is more real than Macbeth's visionary dagger. And once again, this probably boils down to not needing to wear these goggles to see your aura. It might also have something to do with the background used when trying to replicate Dr. Kilner's experiments. If you don't have a white wall or a light colored wall, or if you're in a room with wallpaper as your background, then chances are you probably won't see your aura. The goggles are most likely pseudoscience, but being able to see your aura is real. This is one case where I don't trust the science, or at least their inability to see the aura. The allure is what makes these goggles so intriguing. While the science behind Kilner's claims remains shrouded in mystery, his invention is curiously fascinating. These goggles with their fantastical filters and promises of unlocking a new layer of reality capture the human spirit's yearning to peer beyond the visible, to glimpse the hidden dimensions that may lie just beyond our grasp. Would you like to see your aura? It's really easy to do. I have several articles on N5D.com that shows the exact process. I'll place a link to those articles in the more info section of this video. If no one has told you this yet today, please allow me to be the first. You are loved. You are appreciated. Thank you for your service to humanity. If you enjoyed this video please like subscribe and share it on social media and until the next time much love to all i think he's crazy yeah, yeah. who's gonna believe that crock of shit